So today we're going to look at fish and squid behaviour at the mouth of a drop chain trawl and the factors contributing to either capture or escape. Bottom trawling is a process of dragging a net behind one or more boats with the net moving along the seabed. The beam trawl is the most traditionally used method for trawling. This is where a metal beam holds the net open as it is dragged along the seabed, as seen in the video. It's actually a lightly destructive process disturbing the sediment and damaging the benthic vegetation. The net is lowered into the water, as you can see in the video behind us, and trailed along the bottom, as can be seen in the clip. After a predetermined period of time, the nets are brought back on board. One major issue of trolling is the catch of non-targeted species. This is known as bycatch. Bycatch species typically include those non-commercially viable species, species that, for example, we don't eat. Due to the destructiveness of trawling, very often bycatch doesn't survive and has to be thrown back into the ocean dead. As you can imagine, this is bad times, but there could be worse. According to the captain of the Actinia, bycatch at Millport included fridges, undetonated explosives, bicycles and other boats. In this paper, the target species was the long, thin, inshore squid Doritophus paleae, and the bycatch species were the summer flounder, Paralichthyus donatus, and skates, family Rajidae. Previous attempts at reducing the bycatch of these species included increasing the mesh size of the net. This was unsuccessful as the escape rate of the squid was greatly increased. They just sort of drifted through the holes. The aim of this experiment was to reduce the bycatch of summer flounder and skate without reducing the catch of squid by using a drop chain trawl. The drop chain trawl uses chains to attach the trawl line to the ground gear which rolls along the seabed. The gap between the trawl line allows organisms to swim underneath the net. This is hypothesised to be successful at reducing the catch rate of summer flounder and skate since these species are associated with the seabed. Squid are usually located higher in the water column and shouldn't really escape any more often. In addition, the friendly neighbourhood GoPro was used to record fish activity and this helps us to ascertain fish behaviour at the mouth of the trawl. The study found that all squid observed at the mouth of the trawl were caught, with none escaping. The squid were typically oriented with the mantle facing away from the net. Most squid just sort of drifted with no active swimming, but some used jet propulsion and were just overtaken by the trawl. Some are flounder are typically found at the seabed and so the net would pass over the top of them. However, others attempted to swim away from the net. Eventually, they would be overtaken and captured. Others did a 180 degree turn, which is a proven escape response. However, this increased the capture rate. The net typically passed over the top of the skate. However, sometimes they'd be hit by the drop chain and get an ouchie. The net result was the capture of squid, the failure to capture skate, and, well, needs a little bit more work on the flounder. But, on the whole, everyone's relatively happy. Oh, no,